Hey everyone, welcome back to the Work and Dirt channel. I'm Joel, and I know we've been posting some videos on our new homestead, which is keeping us busy, but I promise guys, we have not lost our commitment to our Jeep. And in this video, it's exciting because we bring home the heart and soul of our Jeep, which is a newly rebuilt Hemi motor. And we also go over why we went with the motor builder instead of buying a new one or getting a loaner from a friend or something. So if you wanna see this thing roll home, stay tuned. Gonna go kablooey. <laughs> Might drop like it's hot. So you yeah. control the jack. Okay. Alright, go ahead. What are we doing? <laughs> We're putting on the gas can. It's about time, right? Okay, so we just have these little um, retaining washers that we've got to put on because once the uh, gas tank's on and the tub's on, if we ever want to service the tank or put our other extend, extended tank, um, then we don't want these nuts popping up because they just have a little uh, square, I don't know what you call that, but it's like carriage bolt end. And you don't want them popping up so this little retaining washer goes up so we got them all nice and new and now yeah that'll keep that bolt in place now we gotta do the back because we're eventually gonna switch out our gas tank for the extended tank yeah the extra capacity although I need to confirm what the capacity is on this because I think this might be an option that came with Jeep with an extra it, it seems pretty big so I thought it was like 15. I don't know. We're gonna have to double check uh, because we have one of the Genrite tanks up there that's mm -hmm. like 20 gallons or something. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. They say it's supposed to be five gallons extra, so we gotta check it out. Look at our fancy hoist here. Yeah, put the camera down. Yeah, I think you got a shot. We got the shot. So as long as we line up the back, the back hole will set us. Yeah. Hopefully this will be the last time we ho hoist this thing. Who moved it? It's a ghost. By the way, this is another gem of Harbor Freight. I think I paid about 45 for something that could lift two tons effortlessly and reliably. That's a five-star valuation right there. FYI, probably can't hear any of that. I can hear it, but we've got the radio going, we've got that clicking going. Look. Okay, we'll check. It's a check. We'll check. Check. You check. Check. Wreck. Check. You wreck it. Check it. <laughs> All right, this is how you make a poor man's lock nut. Just find yourself a little welding hammer or chisel, slag, slacker, slapper, slacker, slag. slag, slapper, and a mallet. And those little edges will bite in. And we'll get the right lock nut down the road. We'll log this, I promise. Right, Terribu? That's right. Oh, there you go. So now we sandwich those last threads. That'll lock it. That'll lock her.
It's a locker. It's a locker. That means it's a keeper. <laughs> Lock it down. Touchdown. Touchdown. Niners win the Super Bowl. <laughs> Now, when it came time to replace our motor, we had three different options. We had buy new, junkyard, or rebuilt. Uh, we wanted to base our decision on two major factors, one being dependability, and two being within budget. As I've gotten older, I very much appreciate anything that can last a long time and built well. And I, I'm sure a lot of you guys can appreciate that, and we all cringe at at some of the modern technology or quick fabrication of things. Coming to that moment, moment of realizing I, uh, the future of the Jeep starts now as far as how much power is gonna be under that hood. Um, but I had to be humbled and come back to reality and know my girlfriend's in the picture and so I need to uh, keep it low and back to budget, which is a very important point for some guys like again, I said in the beginning of this project, you gotta pick your goal and stick to it or else things don't get finished or things get out of hand on the budget and then they don't get finished. If we decide to buy new, we were looking at uh, about five to $7,000 if you buy a, a, a motor from the manufacturer like Chrysler or whoever. And you're gonna get dependability with that because you know they have good quality control and uh, they have reputation and warranty. And yes, we all know there are the lemons and blah, blah, blah. But on a grand scale, it's, it's a sure way of going. And then the next one is a junkyard. We all know we can rip out a, an engine, um, but we don't know the history of it. And that scares me. And I see how they rip those things out. And I like to treat my components like body parts and be very uh, delicate with them. But you know, the bigger part is we don't know the history. Price is right, but the dependability is not really there in my mind. The next one is obviously to rebuild our motor or rebuild another. If you rebuild another, again, you don't know the history of it um, and then you're adding to the cost. So with our motor, we knew the history. In fact, when I bought the Jeep, the motor uh, was from a, a, a lady's Dodge truck. It was purple and only had 30,000 miles on it. And so I don't know her behavior. I'd like to lean on the fact that girls are better uh, they're easier on their equipment than compared to guys except for some of the young and crazy ones I know they could be heavy on the pedal um, but with that said you know I'll take 30,000 miles on a car from a woman over a guy any day blind and then other people are probably thinking yeah but you overheated your motor and it's like yeah it's true but I'm gonna rely on you know the professionalism and experience of my motor builder to tell me if it's salvageable or not in which he said uh, yes Rebuilding is putting us at right over 3,000, and um, that's right in our budget, which was between 2,500 and 4,000. The reason why we're spending a little more, because he was going to do it for about 25. Uh, we're getting a better water pump OEM. He recommended that they're more reliable, they're stronger compared to the aftermarket ones. Uh, he said they were more expensive, but um, I didn't want to chance it, so I got that and a new thermostat which you guys agree that that's a good thing to replace. Of course, the better valve seats. So with that, um, we're a little over, I think we're at 3,300. Um, rebuilding is the way we decided to go. And so far I'm happy with it. Oh, and logistically speaking, he was just a couple blocks down the corner. So that helps out a lot. And hopefully it helps your guys' guide on which way you wanna go. All right, it's time to put a new soul into Hamley or an old soul rebuilt. <laughs> we're gonna take her down to the motor builder and he's gonna put the block in so then later we can put the tub on and then bring it back to him and like, connect all the wires but uh, this is a huge next step so let's get it different about loading the frame this time? 
You didn't have to use any ropeonometry. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, why didn't we have to do that last time? Because we didn't have a winch or it was someone else's trailer, that's why. It wasn't our, yeah, we didn't have a, that we didn't, trailer. We didn't, we didn't have, have a rock trailer. crawling rig. <laughs> trailer. Much easier. All right, we're here at the next stage of this motor build or project build. And Pedro here is rebuilt our motor and he works, this is business speed auto machine. And uh, he rebuilt the Hemi and uh, Pedro, why don't you let us know what do you specialize in kind of and what you work on primarily? So we mostly uh, specialize on building Hemis, um, some Fords, but mostly Hemis. Uh, we kind of uh, addressed the problems they had and uh, specialized on fixing those intake seats and uh, cylinder heads. Um, and uh, we try to try to reinforce every single part inside that motor to make it a little bit stronger than factory. Yeah, in our case, we just had some valve seats that dropped and so he's replaced them with uh, what, forged um, or steel yeah, seats? Yeah, st steel seats that, uh, that are better. It's stock ones are, are cast uh, seats, so um, they tend to crack easier than, than uh, steel ones. And, and he doesn't just make the weak points stronger, but he also goes a little over and beyond with doing supercharging, and uh, big motor builds, special builds, and then you, you know he'll do simple motor replacements as well. So we look forward to doing some more uh, motor builds with upcoming Hemi swaps, possibly. But uh, thank you, Pedro. We're gonna no get to yeah, dropping the new motor block in. Yeah, this is a cool project. I'm excited. Yeah. Yep. Saturday work day, six days a week, right? Seven. Yep, yep. Because tomorrow's KOA fun day, Sunday. Oh. But uh, are you saying today's the sixth? Work day, yeah, yeah. But I just got back from Oakland, and now we are going to find a couple hours to work on Hemily. Uh, we need to like attach some wires and some plumbing, and then uh, get ready to drop the shell on, so or the tub. And I need to still order the dang radiator. Uh, there's a few to choose from for the Hemi swap, which is nice, but uh, I just need to pull the trigger. But Tara has got the shop all nice and clean. I thought I was gonna have to spend two hours when I got back cleaning it. She got it all organized. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. Although I probably would have gladly accepted a, a, a heart full of cream filled chocolates instead. Uh, but no, I'll take a clean garage any day. Thank you very much. All right, well that pretty much wraps it up for this video. And I would be lying if I didn't tell you I was a little nervous or will be a little nervous to start this thing and to hear it rumble and hopefully there's no glitches. Uh, but I'll cross my fingers and we'll be bringing that to you very soon. But stay tuned for the next video because we'll be getting around to installing the roll cage into the Jeep and then also, or right before that, uh, protecting the tub floor with lizard skin and raptor liner. So if you're interested in seeing those products in use, then tune in, it should be a good one. And uh, thank you for your viewership. It helps our channel support veterans, trails, and charities each quarter. So thank you for that. Till next time, keep working.